Hi guys, welcome back to another video. We are going on our honeymoon this week. I have so much to do. I need to glow up big time. Like everything about this is unacceptable. Hair, nails. These are still my wedding nails, would you believe? I mean, they've lasted a very long time, um, but they need to get done. Brows, lashes. I might treat myself to a facial, although sometimes facials for me just make my skin a little bit worse i am literally about to get my hair done in about 10 minutes jack is coming around to mine um and my extensions are coming out and fresh ones are going back in i think we're just going to tone i put a bit of tone on i don't know i'm not going to do any color or anything um but i'm going to get quite a bit of length off normally they're like past my boobs down to like my ribs um but i think i'm going to go quite short like a nice short shoulder length cut i've saved a couple of pictures which i'm going to show him um that could take around three four hours to be honest hair extensions do take quite a while although jack is really quick at doing it been for my run this morning so i feel a lot better i've just ordered a chicken salad on delivery yesterday we got back from being away camping with danny's family um in my last vlog and i just feel like this week i need a proper reset because we didn't eat very good we were drinking for a couple of days and I just feel a bit sluggish and a bit gross. A little refresh, reset before we go on our honeymoon on Friday, which I honestly cannot wait. Like, I'm so excited. I need to do a bit of shopping as well. Um, well, actually, no, I need to empty my, obviously in one of my vlogs the other, the other week, I emptied this wardrobe, but I need to empty my chest of drawers um, to see what I've got to take away on the honeymoon and see if I actually need to go and do a shop because I don't think I really do. Those trousers that I bought in the last vlog, um, the last couple of vlogs because I'm, I'm pushing vlogs out like it's nothing at the minute um i've got a pair on now let me just show you um not great not got a bra on but honestly these trousers have been a lifesaver for me like i i'm literally rotating them i'm living in them they're great so i'll probably just take loads of them on me we'll probably just nip to the travel center potentially and pick up a couple of bits that i need but i actually don't think i'll need anything um, i just need to go through my chest of drawers and have a look but yeah guys thanks so much for kicking on this video jack's gonna be here in about eight minutes thought you could just spend the week with me whilst we prep for the honeymoon danny's currently out at the gym um, I thought probably best for you to go whilst I'm getting my hair done because it's a bit boring for him. I will catch up with you when my hair looks a lot better than it does. This is it currently. It's greasy and semi-wet from my run this morning. Um, but yeah, just, it, it needs to come out. Um, it's not the longest. No, it's actually only up to my boobs. I think I'm going to go like here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Once the hair's in, <laughs> once the new hair's in, um, I can see what length we like. There's actually so many noises going on in here right now. The wash, the washing machine, not the washing machine, the tumble dryer, the TV. Let me turn it down, the outside noise. Um, but naturally, I don't think it would be a hair appointment if I didn't get a chicken salad from Deliveroo. Jack is on his way now and I've just ordered to him a club sandwich, because he likes to get the club sandwich. And like I said, I'm trying to be good, so. Got the chicken salad, but oh my God, guys, it's just the best, 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 best chicken salad in the world. don't think you understand how happy I am. I am so happy with my hair. Oh my God. I didn't realize how much I needed this until now. Like I've wanted this length of hair um, for quite a while, but because of the wedding and stuff, had the hen do, like I wanted long hair for that. So I just never got around to doing it, but I'm so happy. I love it so much. Like it's so, it's just, it's just telling me that I'm a wife. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's saying you are now a wife. I've not tried tying it up yet, but I'm sure I will be able to tie it up absolutely fine. Yeah, I'm so happy. We just chopped it all off. I just went, just get chopping. Um, he was like, you sure you're not gonna regret it? And I was like, no, no, I know I, I know I need this. So that is step one of having a little honeymoon glow up. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've had a really, really rubbishy day. Um, I won't go into it too much, but just a really rubbishy day. It is five to six and I have had to drag my ass out, well, with the help of Danny actually, um, to go and do a little track session, a running track session tonight, which I just know is going to make me feel better. Like, I know the second, um, the second I finish this, I will feel so much better. <laughs> oh, it's just one of those days, I'm not going to lie. Um, I haven't achieved anything I needed to achieve. Sometimes just the way life goes, not every day positive. We're here now and... I'm gonna do a good running session and then we're gonna go home and have some yummy dinner and tomorrow is a fresh day and I will get done everything we need to get done. <laughs> Let's go and run guys, goodness me. Oh my god guys, don't know what's wrong with me, I'm feeling so emotional. I do feel mentally better. 
in terms of like, I know I'm gonna be a lot happier when this is done. Honestly, best thing about running clears your head, gets all your emotions out. Um, I don't think I've smiled today, which is quite sad, really. um, but I'm smiling now. We've got three lots of four minutes left to do. Um, and then I'm done and we can catch up properly. I need to put my glasses on too. Oh. Wow. <laughs> breathe. Like, up, breathe. <laughs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Do you need to do a cough? No, I'll, I can stay not coughing. We feel so much better, so much happier. Did that was hard you, for you. Did you I, say you were sad before? Huh? Yeah, I was really sad before. It's like nothing to do with me, Danny. Um, it's just, it's just other things. Just life. Just life. Oh gosh, what a beautiful, gorgeous evening. I'm gonna make this a regular thing, and oh, I'm gonna, nice. I'm gonna put it out. Do you know what it is, right? To anyone that lives in Manchester, just to come and do it. Pay your four pounds, come to the track. There's so many people here as well, like in a good way. Like it's just like there's a good energy around it. Yeah. People yeah. just getting on with their own things. No like massive organised sessions, just like little groups of people doing their own stuff. Yeah. Um, that was really, really nice. I really needed that. And there's no way in God's earth I would feel like this, how I do now, without having done this. 100%. Like there's no I was saying to Danny earlier, I just can't shake this feeling of how I feel today. And I knew the only way I'd shake it is to come and do exercise, but I wouldn't have come and done it if it wasn't for you, so thank you. That's okay. Thanks for joining me. Because... You're welcome. <laughs> guys, we're going to head home now um, and make some din-dins for yeah. HelloFresh. If anyone would like to know if we're ready to go on our honeymoon, the we answer is... We are so is ready. No. No, <laughs> oh yeah. Physically, more mentally, we are ready. Physically, yeah. no. Oh, right. Oh, as in like, <laughs> like we're not prepared. We have nothing ready, yeah. Um, but like mentally, God, yeah, we are. Get me there. We are so ready and excited. We've got HelloFresh for dinner. What would you like? We've got chicken butter masala, butter chicken masala. That one. I think I want that That one, too. yeah. Or that pork noodles, or we don't want the, the salad, do we? No. <laughs> Um, also guys, isn't this just the most gorgeous um, top? Like, I felt a bit, not silly running it, but it's quite dressy. Like I'm literally wearing a halter neck on the running track. I could spot your mile off on that. Yeah, um, full match and set for me. Right guys, for HelloFresh tonight, we have decided to have the quick butter chicken masala. We've had this one before and it is one of our favorite. Literally takes 20 to 25 minutes to cook. I feel like because I'm such a HelloFresh professional, it takes literally like half the amount of time it actually says, because I just know what I'm doing. Um, but I have got all the ingredients out, laid all the ingredients out that I need. I'm gonna get a quick shower, put my PJs on, and then cook and eat. Guys, honestly, 15, maybe 20 minutes at a push later, we have our dinner. Danny's just tidying up behind me because I cook, he cleans. To be fair, I feel like it's been a long time since we've properly done this. Yeah, literally now. Like, since we've actually, since we've had Hello Fresh together. But when you just said then, I cook, you clean, I thought, oh my God. It's been so long, yeah. it has, yeah. Because obviously Danny's away in the week, um, and then at the weekend, like, we're either, well, to be honest, we're here, there, and everywhere, or, like, we'll eat out. Um, we've both got a little Coke Zero. But, Danny, can I put you on the spot? Go, go, go. Three, two, two favourite things about HelloFresh. Two favourite things. Um, variety. Yeah, that's a good one. And how, like, flavoursome they are. Yeah, that was going to be mine. And then I'll chuck in a third. Yeah. How quick and easy it is for you to Really make. great, and that they would probably be my three as well. Um, um, I think the main one for me, genuinely, I, haven't, I feel like I've not said this a while, in a while on my YouTube, which is how nice the meals actually taste. Like, we have genuinely never ever had a bad tasting meal from HelloFresh. Like, every time we eat them, we're like, oh my God, that was so nice. I'm sipping my Coke. You have meals you wouldn't normally have. Yeah, ingredients you wouldn't normally have. And when we got home the other day, um, and I knew that it was coming the next day. I was so relieved because I was like, we don't need to, when we went to do our food shop, like we didn't need to get stuff for dinner because we knew that dinner was coming. Like it just saves so much unnecessary hassle and stress. And for that reason, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> and for that reason, I'm out. Dragon's Den. Yeah. Um, but these, this is our little dinner. Chicken, butter masala. I have actually added like some extra veg that was going to go out of date in the fridge anyway. So um, that's why it's a bit bigger than usual. And to that, Something about that sound, isn't there? Guys, I will leave my discount code and the offer on the screen, and then I will also leave a link in the description bar or a QR code, I'm not sure what it'll be yet. Um, you can either scan or just go to the description bar and click on the link and it'll take you to HelloFresh's website where there will be some sort of amazing offer on, which I highly recommend you go for because if you've not tried it, I feel like you need to see what we're yabbering on about. Here, here. Here, here. And to that, we are going to tuck in and enjoy our dinner and watch the Olympics. Lick with our Coca-Cola, and we will see you tomorrow for a more positive, better day.
I'm not actually doing, I haven't got any of my appointments tomorrow. I need to do, but we'll go to the gym in the morning. Yeah, guys, no night from us, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, guys. I have the horrible illness that Danny had. He's kindly given it to me, which is not ideal. Um, but we are at our friend's new gym that they've just opened, which is very exciting. It's called The Park in Lytham. Um, and we've just come to pay them a little visit, do a little session with them. We met them at High Rocks. I... I um I actually did my first ever high rocks with this girl Lucy and her boyfriend is like a coach she's also a high rocks um, high rocks ambassador um so we've just sort of become like couple friends really and it's great and we've just come to visit their lovely new gym guys I'm not gonna lie talk about gym goals I am utterly obsessed and I'm so jealous this is what I need in my life um this is so so nice and then up here oh my god I want this place up here they've got like a nice little relaxing bar coffee area sofas places to work uh, i actually love it i said to danny on the way here i was like we're gonna get really upset because this is what we want <laughs> um we need to look into it really we really do guys i'm not gonna lie i am in a bit of a trance <laughs> i have not worked that hard in a session god for a, a long time maybe like since the high rocks I'd agree, yeah. I'd I think I was work working hard. harder than the high rocks then. Because it was like short, intense, like... It was short, sharp, intense, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Um, but that was honestly so much fun. We did um, some one rep back stuff. And then we did like a group, like team session with the four of us. And my God, it was hard. It shows that I can like work harder in my sessions because... I only ever work like that when I'm working with other people or in a group and I've got like people that are on the same level and we're sort of like shouting and encouraging each other but it makes such a difference like I feel so good for it and um, there was a point halfway I was like I actually don't feel good here like, and I, have, I haven't felt like that <laughs> in a very long time um, but so much fun I'm so so glad that we went and visited them it's near Blackpool in a place called Lytham and we were saying Lytham earlier yeah um, and yeah they've just opened the gym and it's called the park and it's just it's so good so so good so we are driving back home now we're gonna go and get some lunch at village cafe our favorite place um oh. we're starving i'm so hungry Can i'm gonna get a big club i don't care I, we deserve we get, it today we get big clubs today oh my gosh um and then we need to well we need to go and get our nails done <laughs> you should i need, <laughs> I need nah. to go and get my nails done still um and i really want to get a pedicure and i said to danny that like to get a pedicure as well because guys get pedicures like there's literally not an issue with that and I I'm think going, you need, I think you need one I'm I going on a honeymoon I need my toes to look good <laughs> I think they need a good scrub and a good cut and a good so, and a good um, and a good a good scrape a good file down yeah guys look I've managed to rope in to get a pedicure with me <laughs> Needs must over needs here. must Danny's had a pedicure and we thought why would you not when we're going on a honeymoon and you can have your feet out loads and just a nice little treat for him, but yeah, I'm very excited. My feet need some treatment. They do, yeah. Good morning, guys. Um, we go on a honeymoon tomorrow, so what naturally have we decided to do today when we're still <laughs> completely unprepared, well, about unpacked? That. Um, I didn't finish getting my nails done yesterday, we just got our toes done because. It no, no, Zoe, what... just Zoe got her toes done. <laughs> I didn't get mine done. Well, you got our toes done. How did you enjoy your um, pedicure experience? <laughs> I just felt sorry for the woman that was doing it. Really? Yeah. You loved it. You were quite content. I saw her massaging your feet and I thought he doesn't even want this. Well, yeah, obviously. Uh, on a free... And now, honestly, your feet are lovely. Like, I was looking at them last night and I tend to not really like hold your feet or go anywhere near your feet, but I was stroking them and they were lovely and soft. So, there's any males out there with really bad feet like me? Go and get a pedicure. Why the devil not? Yeah. Um, I didn't get my nails done. But I'm getting them done today because we were, just, we were there quite a while and we just didn't really have time to be sitting waiting around. Actually, something very exciting. Um, I feel like I probably could have made a whole new video on this, but. And we're cramming it into this one as per. We are actually off to Manchester in Institute of Health and Performance. Well done, ten out of ten. Um, to get our VO2. Um, hold on, let me start again. We're getting our threshold lactate threshold testing and our VO2 max testing. Yes. Yeah. Um, something we both wanted for quite a while. It's just a bit of fun, really. It's going to be a hard morning, a hard morning's work. We're both in the same slot, which is great. We're there from 9 till 12. This time tomorrow, we will be on the plane. And I just feel so unorganised. Like, we've still got to go to Trafford Centre. Haven't checked in, haven't been to Trafford Centre. 
Um, I don't think we've got half the stuff that we need. I haven't yet. even begun to pack. No. Um, I'm getting my brows done today as well. And um, I never did my chest of drawers. I don't know what I've got. So I, I've got a lot to do today. A lot, a lot, a lot. But naturally, we're just cramming this in first thing in the morning, um, which should be quite fun. Danny was poorly not long ago, and he has now given it to me. So also probably not the best day for me to be doing this. Fantastic, why not just go and run to absolute exhaustion? That's right what you've got to do, run right, to... right before your honeymoon. I know, yeah. Oh well. Um, it's the only time they could slot us in and we didn't want to miss out. So. It's all fun and games. Hey guys, so we've just got here. Really sick room, really big, a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, Danny and I are going to take it in turns, but like we'll stagger each other. So he'll go for a bit, then I'll go, then he'll go, and then I'll go. Um, but the guys just explained to us like how it works and stuff. <laughs> I'm really scared. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm nervous for the bit where you have to like work to exhaustion. So you're on the treadmill running at whatever pace they they think that is right for you. And then um, the incline and the treadmill will just keep going up and up and up until you're actually exhausted. So that's great. Danny's up first because I was too scared and he wants to show me how it's going to go. How are you feeling, darling? I'm excited. There is. You're excited. I'm excited to be fair. I'm worried I'm going to get hungry. Three hours of no food. Have you got any food? I've got one gel. Really? So you're going to have to. Uh... You have to share a gel with me. Oh no. I think this is where we'll be mostly. To, uh, You've got obviously this treadmill and stuff over here. All the equipment and bits um, that we're going to be using here, I believe. Oh my god, guys, I'm so scared. Danny's just getting his ear pricked to get a little blood sample. Do you want to hop on, mate? Go on, Dan. Let's go look at the screen, shall we? Position there, Danny. Just try and run in that same spot. You look straight ahead, that's solid. Uh, what I'll do is I'll probably show you and Zoe the results together. Yeah. Yourself, that's Danny just finished, guys. That was so uh, fun to watch. He was so good. How'd you feel, Dan? I feel like I've done a 10k. <laughs> yeah. Just watching that's made me even more scared. <laughs> you enjoyed the first 20 minutes? Yeah, the first 20 minutes, I'm sure. I'm just a bit conscious of my cough. She's up. I'm up. And I'm scared. <laughs> No, I'm not scared. I would do this all the time. You've got no reason to be scared. You're just going for an easy run. You don't look easy at the end of yours. It's Wilmslow 10k, but a bit easier until the end. Two, one. The second threshold is really, really close to your 10k pace as well, actually a little bit faster. Yeah. Um, so your, ten, uh, your second threshold came at 12.9 kilometers an hour, um, which is around 430. Yeah, okay. Nine ish. Yeah. Um, your 10k pace is 440-ish. So, yeah. So, Why are you running a little bit quicker? <laughs> yeah, so I think it's obviously really, really hard with your heart rate because you're just going to like panic and think yeah. that you're working too hard. Yeah. But I think realistically you've got scope to actually in increase your easy stuff. Okay. That was quite tough, I'm not going to lie, but I weirdly so, enjoyed it. I'm so hot and I'm hungry. Um, yeah. That was really good fun. I learned a lot of things actually. I learned that my heart rate is just naturally very high. Um, and that my zone 2 heart rate goes up to like 187 or something ridiculous like that, which is just crazy. Um, but I'm having a little rest now and then we've got the next part which is the VO2 max bit. And it's only like 8 to 10 minutes of work, but it's where you have to like work to exhaustion. 3, 2, 1, that's 8 minutes down, Joey. Remember to leave a little bit left in your legs. Because it's a clear signal that you feel like you can't carry on no more. Well done, Zoe, come on. That's 10 seconds down on this stage, Zoe. Come Zoe, push Let's up the treadmill, more. push, push, push. Let's go, Zoe, come on. We've got 30 seconds left in this stage, Zoe. Dig in. Yes. Yeah. Come, come on, push, push, on. push, get on the treadmill. Get on the treadmill. 20 seconds there you go. Left. Good. Come on, get to the end. Come on. 15 seconds Last left. Little Almost there. Hill. Just bring it up that hill now, Joey. Ten seconds left. And that's it. That's your test on. Great stuff, Joey. Wow. Worked hard. My legs are like first. How are you feeling? I want to take a seat. I don't know. No. You was on there for eight minutes. I know. You did well. That's how it does feel. That was the same. How annoying. You're like, you are. No, no. You, you, that's what it, you, you can't, though. Like, right. your, your legs are done. That's, that's it. Painful. Um, well, now, now I look back on it, I'm like, oh. that's kind of said to you, didn't you? Yeah, that's, that's always the case. I think she said she thought she could have maybe carried on for a little bit longer, <laughs> like you said. Oh. You did, yeah, you was at your max, there, definitely. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> couldn't do much more. If there's something that we deserve, it is a big fat, juicy lunch. Um, I have a barbecue chicken wrap 
I'm surprised. Danny's got a big chicken Slovakia thing. So, so, what's it called? Slovakia? Slovakia. I'm going to be eating this on holiday. Excuse me. Can I add some sweet potato fries as well? One. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> um, this is very, this very well deserved. Me. This will be me and Rose every day. <laughs> okay, a job that I've been meaning to do for a very, very long time. <laughs> My nails are finally done. I went for a cute little, like, chrome. I've never had chrome before. I couldn't decide on the colour and he was like, why don't you go for like a Hayley Bieber inspired chrome? Um, so that is what I did. I feel like if you're not gonna do something fun for your honeymoon, when are you? So that's what I've got. I only have 20% on my camera and I want to vlog the rest of the day. So I need to charge my camera at some point. I'm currently sat outside my brow salon and I'm gonna go and get my brows done. I cannot wait to get home and get showered and wash my hair because I feel so disgusting. Obviously, I've not been home and showered yet since um, that testing this morning, which I feel like I've only just recovered from it. It was actually really, really tough. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to get home. I want to just get these brows done. I was tempted to get my LVL as well, but I feel like with my lashes, if I get it too much, they turn into like little pubes and they go all like funny and horrible and squiggly. Um, so I probably won't get that and probably just get my brows done. Oh, that is, can't believe it's happening now. I'm so excited. I'm honestly so excited. We fully go tomorrow. Um, but we're going to see if we can nip to the chapel centre this evening as well. Still so much to do. But for now, let's go get our brows done. Okay, guys, it is a couple of hours later. I'm back home. We are back home. But I am almost packed. My suitcase is behind me on the bed. I need to go to the Trapper Centre. We're going to go to the Trapper Centre anyway for some dinner. We both really want Michael Mamas. Danny needs some... Boxes. I came home with like three pairs of underwear from work. He needs some boxes. Where would be the best place to get that Primark? Mm, Zara or like a joke. H and M. H and M. H and M. Yeah, H and M's like middle, middle, middle of the range, isn't it? Big pack of seven for thirty quid. <laughs> yeah. like um, I don't know if I've overpacked. I've definitely not overpacked for roads. Like, I'm not too fussed about taking loads of nice clothes. I just feel like when we go on nice holidays, I always overpack and then I always end up rotating the same bikini, the same pair of shorts, the same top, literally on repeat. I think I might have overpacked the Dolomites in terms of like I've taken a lot of gym wear, like a lot of gym clothes, but that's literally what we're going to be living in. So. I'd rather take too much of that. I'm really happy that we've made, I've made some progress. It'll take Danny two minutes to be fair to try to get stuck into the suitcase. But it's six o'clock now. I reckon we'll be done wait, here. Wait, the shops close? Um, 10, I think. The shops close at 10? I think they do 10. close at 10, yeah. I just checked Zara. Zara definitely closes at 10, so that means they all do. Great. But I think we should be out of here really by, I'd like to be at the trans centre by half seven, an hour and a half, eight. I want to be out here soon, like half an hour. Half an hour? You, your suitcase is yeah, empty? Yeah, I can throw it all in later when I know what I've got. I'm gonna finish chucking bits in my suitcase. I actually need to borrow Danny's suitcase. His suitcase is bigger than mine to put some of my bits in. And I'll show you what I've got in there when it's done. But I can't believe I've actually managed to get Rose and Dolomite all into one suitcase. Okay, guys, this is my suitcase pretty much packed. I just need to chuck in two toiletry bags and my makeup bag and also my little hair tool that you guys know I like. Um, which, to be honest, I could probably fit some of that in this side. But this side is my road side. So it's got all my nice clothes, which, to be honest, I've really not taken that much of anyway. Um, a couple of pairs of shoes, my evening bags, my jewellery and stuff like that. And then and bikinis. Then over here, we have literally a full side of gym clothes, like day like casual clothes, all my trainers, sports bra shorts, just like casual chuck on stuff. Then in there is all my knickers and socks. Um, but I would say I am like 95% packed. I just need to chuck in a few last minute bits. Yeah, we are going to head to the Trapper Centre. I actually don't need anything at all, which is great. Like if I see something that I like, um, I might pick it up, but I actually don't need anything. Um, just a Wagamama's. A Wagamama's is really, really what we need tonight. <laughs> Guys, we're back home. Small dilemma. Danny just realised that his suitcase is actually broken. So what would have happened that zip um that zip is properly broken so that won't do up but thankfully we've got a spare but <laughs> the spare is full of all my like holiday clothes which are now going to be put in there so we are now transferring from this so because this suitcase is actually broken as well like the zip's broken on this <laughs> on the gold one yeah the zip's like fallen off but you can still do it up it's about half nine and and he's got an empty suitcase and we fly at 8am so that's stunning we're checked in though which is great guys because i have actually packed um i'm gonna just quickly because i've got a bit of time before i want to go to sleep style my hair before bed like i know that seems weird but i feel like if i style my hair now it would just be much easier and quicker to do it in the morning that's the only thing about hair this length as much as i love it and I, honestly it's been so much easier already you do need to style it otherwise you look 
a little bit like you've got a bush um a big big bush so i'm just going to quickly give it a little not a blow dry but a little curl okay i mean i've kind of given up this is the first time i've done this actually by myself i think i do need to practice it a little bit um this side's better but i just gave up with the side because i'm so tired but guys we go on a honeymoon tomorrow and I'm starting a new vlog tomorrow. Well, I'll start a new vlog, I think, when we arrive in the Dolomites because um, travelling is always a bit boring, isn't it? But if you got to the end of this little video, thank you ever so much. And I will see you very, very soon for our honeymoon vlog. Bye, guys.